So in the latest version of Bet Angel version 160, we've improved a few things and added additional features. And one of those is the live tracking map and the course par information. So I wanted to do a quick video just to show you how to set those up so that it's a bit easier for you to see what options you have available for you and what each of those options do and how to display that information on Bet Angel. So let's have a look at that in this video. So if you look at what we've done here with Bet Angel, um, we've got live tracking data coming in on the map. We've got the PAR chart. I'll explain what that is in a second. And we've got lots of other data here in terms of what's going on on the race course. And this is because we've connected it to total performance data. And in this video, I'm going to confirm to you how you would connect total performance data and how you bring up the live tracking map and all of these other bits and bobs as well. I'm not going to cover it in massive depth. I'm just going to show you how to get to first base and then you can have a good play with it from there. But basically, um, if you're on version 160 or above of Bet Angel, you will have these features. And if you visit the forum, you can download a load of files that will help you modify and show this information on Bet Angel and do all sorts of clever, weird and wonderful stuff. So I suggest that if you have version 160 or above and you have um, a license with TPD, then you should go onto the forum and import all of those things and have a really good play with it because it's great fun having a look at all of this data and using it when you're actively trading. But um, you can see on the one click screen here, we've modified it to put data in. Um, it's very, very easy to do on the one click screen. You have this concept called custom columns and you can basically uh, choose which columns are displayed any one point at a time and you can shrink them, you can manipulate, move them, sort them, do all sorts of stuff and you can basically do whatever you want um, on a custom column. And if we go into the custom column editor, you can see here that we're basically pulling in data uh, such as the current miles per hour of each of these horses and allowing it to be displayed on the custom columns. And you can display all of that data on the one click screen or the ladder. Um, it's entirely up to you which screen you want to use because that will be able to display all of this information for you. We can see somebody's going to post here number eight, which is the outsider. You can see the average speed of the outsider there. And if we hover over uh, the map, you can see who that is anyhow. Um, so yeah, that data, when you pull it into Bet Angel, can be displayed anywhere on the product itself. You can export it to Excel. Um, you can automate stuff with it. You can do whatever you like, basically. Uh, but let me show you how uh, we have set this up. Basically, if you um, go to the settings on Bet Angel, there are a number of different tabs that you have here, and one of them is Total Performance Data. And if we click on Total Performance Data, that contains modifications related to this functionality. So basically, uh, you need a license key to be able to pull the data in from the race course, but you can basically enter in uh, the, the key and that will connect and start pulling in data for you. And if you click on here, this will give you the status of total performance data on any one particular day. You have a choice here as to how you wish to connect. So you can see here, I've got it connecting 10 minutes out. And the benefit of doing this a little bit further out is that you actually get to see the horses going around the parade ring and so on. There are options here related to the connection, uh, just basically ensuring that you do get connected. And if you want to show the live tracking map, you can actually show this is the map that we've got over here. This is the section that allows you to do that. And you have a number of modifications that allow you to display all of that uh, particular information. So you can see here we can filter it by all runners or limit it to certain amounts. We can change the colors and we can make them value based. And the reason that we've made them value based is that you can use automation to do calculations, to highlight interesting things, and you can actually push it to the map. So these colors that you see on here can actually be modified by automation. So it can tell you which horse to click on basically um, and all of those sort of things. The race pass chart, which I'll explain in a second, is this chart down here. And again, we've got a whole range of options. So you may want to explore each of those, but you can show it next to the map. You can put it on in play trader. You can show it in its own window. You can do all of these wonderful things. And you can also modify um, the display. So at the moment you see here, we've got the fastest 5% and the uh, slowest 5% of races run over this course and distance and going. Um, and that will display that information for you there. So basically, enter your key, 
Um, Bet Angel will store that key for you, connect automatically to each race that is applicable to total performance data, and then you can decide how that information is displayed. And you can see the horses are gathering at the start at this particular moment in time. And one of the options we did have was to display it on InPlay Trader. And basically, InPlay Trader, if you're not familiar with it, is an interface uh, that rather than pointing and clicking on a one click screen or a ladder, you can actually point and click um, in front of the horse. And again, this can be modified significantly in terms of how you want to display this information and the sort of things that you can do. Uh, within Play Trader. Again, that requires another video um, altogether. But if you want to display the total performance data here, then you can do so as well. But basically what we've done is we've allowed you to modify all of these elements so you can view the data exactly as you choose to see it. Um, I will explain the race pass chart here as well. If you look at each individual course in the UK, you're going to have um, a different layout to the course. Some of the courses will be flat, some will be undulating. So what you can see here is basically what is going to happen when the race starts. And if they're running particularly fast, it'll be towards the top end of this. And if they're running particularly slow, it'll be at the bottom end. And obviously that's critical for what you're attempting to do because a front runner or a held up horse is gonna finish the race significantly differently depending upon what the pace is like. You may see a pace collapse or you may see the pace really slow and speed up towards the end, but this tells you how the race is likely to be run. So you can see here that they get off to a fast start uh, it begins to slow down a bit, speed up, slow down a bit, and then obviously you can see um, that you've got a big run in uh, from here. And then obviously as they get towards the end of the race, they tire. But the pass chart will allow you to understand exactly what's going on in the race and how your horse is performing against what is expected over this course, distance and going. But yeah, there's a lot of individual stuff to look at there. Um, I'll need to do videos on each individual part so that you can understand it. Uh, more clearly. Uh, but if you want to get up and going, all you need is a copy of Bet Angel version 160 or above, and you need a license key from Total Performance Data. Plug it into Bet Angel, and you'll have access to all this information. So you can see here a race is about to start at Wolverhampton, and what I've done is I've brought up the InPlay Trader screen, and one of the options we had was to display the information on the in-play trader screen. So I've decided to display it at the bottom and I've aligned all of the activity at the top of the in-play trader screen with the one click screen. So it can display all this information. I can click over here, I can click over here, do all sorts of clever stuff, use a servant, use a keyboard, whatever I want to do. It's all about getting that information right in front of me so I can understand exactly what is going on. So we can see number two has just been loaded here. Everybody settled in the stalls in a second. There we go. And we'll see them off in a second. And then you can see the miles per hour speed up. The race is underway and Betfair have turned it in play. Um, so we can see all of the information over here. I can click and place bets from here, pretty much do whatever I want. And you can see how the race is going according to par. So they're off to a slightly slow start here. So they'll probably run the middle section a little bit faster. But yeah, uh, it's totally flexible. You can do pretty much whatever you want, display what information you want and however you want to display it.